Hi guys, this is Tim Webb, Certified EPDM Administrator for EquivG Software. Well, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is where we provide the solution to our EPDM February challenge to win a free copy of Atlas, our mobile reporting tool for SOLIDWORKS PDM. Basically, here's a challenge. Make a PDM workflow not using the standard, usual, linear workflow transitions to allow users to select a destination state from a data card pull down and transition the file to any state in the workflow. Now here's where the shoe's gonna pinch. We've got some constraints and this is where the fun begins. We've got two workflows maximum, 12 states total, no more, no less, 24 transitions maximum, one data card field as a minimum, out of the box functionality, no custom programs or DLL add-ins, SQL lists are allowed and dispatch is allowed if it's needed. Basically gave us a week to come up with a solution, and here's some hints. We have a pull-down list on the data card that allows you to select the destination state you want to send the file to. And then down below, we've got a small snippet of a workflow that shows our solution. Inside PDM, in this one folder, we've got some XML files that are in various states. On the data card, we have a pull-down that represents an SQL list that queries all of the states available in that workflow. And so then, since it's a version-free variable here, we can actually select the state that we want to send the file to without having to check the file out. We also have another field on the data card called the current state, which is just capturing the current state as the file moves. Right now, this file is in CCB approved. Let's send this file from CCB approved to open pending issues. We select the state that we want to go to. We select save on the data card. And then we right click change state, send it to routing. On the transition dialog, we can put in a comment like send to pending issues. And it's also going to try to transition all of the files that are attached to this, this certain file. Now the file has transitioned to open pending issues. This state has, or this field has updated for us, and then the box for Route 2 has been cleared. Now let's take a look at the magic that's going on behind the scenes. This is the actual workflow. We've got all of the states that we were talking about a moment ago, created, canceled, CCB approved. All of these states are all sent to a workflow link to a separate workflow that's going to send the file back over to this workflow. Each of the transitions are the same name, so that way we only see one transition name in the change state menu. And then each transition has a condition that makes sure that the CR underscore routing text is bigger than zero. That's to make sure that the user actually selected a destination state. Let's take a look at the other workflow where these routing transitions send it. This is the simple part. This is where we're basically just using automatic transitions and a condition on each of the workflow transitions that sends the file back to the state in the other workflow where the user selected the destination state on the data card. So if the text is equal to canceled, that's the state that it will go to. If the text equals created, that's the destination state where the file will go to. We've introduced a slight twist on the standard workflow transitions so that files can be transitioned to any state in the workflow as needed, rather than following just a linear path. This is Tim Webb, Certified EPDM Administrator with EquivQ Software. Thanks for watching.